Hi, this is Mark from Microtasker.com. Today I'm very pleased to be able to present the Kinetis USB boot loader. For this demonstration I'll be using the Freescale Tower Kit which consists of a Kinetis processor board, a serial interface board and a TFT display module. The TFT display module is however optional, the demonstration will also run without it. Initially the Kinetis is programmed with the USB bootloader and a simple application. The application doesn't use the TFT but you can see that the LEDs blink when it's operating. The serial interface is connected to a terminal emulator and we can see that there is also a command line interface. The first thing I want to do is to switch the board into the bootloader mode. To do this I perform a reset by holding switch number 2 down. The terminal emulator shows that we have now entered into the Microtask serial loader mode. This allows us to download S record files. This is documented in the Microtask serial loader documentation and it is not the main topic of this demonstration. Since I'd now like to download new software via the USB, I'm going to connect the USB cable from the PC with the serial board's USB interface. What we can see is that this board has been connected to the PC for the first time and Windows has automatically detected it as a mass storage device and automatically loaded the corresponding driver. Opening the file manager we can now see that the board has been detected as an external disk drive. We can see the tower kit now as the upload disk drive E. When this drive is opened we can then see that there is one file present. We see the name of the software which is loaded, we see its date and also we see its size. As I said before this is presently just a small application which is loaded. The USB mass storage device bootloader doesn't just give me the opportunity to program new software, it also allows me to copy back software which is already programmed. I'm going to do this by performing drag and drop to an empty directory and now we see that we have the copy of the file on the hard disk. The next thing I'd like to do is to program new software to the board. Here we can see the file on the hard disk which we would like to program to the board. We can see from its name that it supports TFT display and also from its size, 83 kilobytes, it's obviously larger than the original file. The reason is because it also includes the Microtask, a TCP IP stack with web server etc. The programming now takes place in two steps. First of all, I go to the upload disk and I delete the original software. That's deleted. Then I take my new software drag it into the, new, the other window. That was the upload taking place and if we look at the board now we shall see already that the new software is operating. As final test, I'm going to re-enter the bootloader mode. We watch the board reappear as upload disk. And now we can verify that we have the new software loaded. We can also see the same date which this file had and we can also see its size. Many thanks for taking a look at the new Kinetis USB mass storage device bootloader. Visit the Microtask website to get a copy of it for yourself and do the same test which I just showed you.